hello and welcome to this tutorial in this video I will show you how to create a friendship bracelet with the pattern of the boa constrictor skin so for that I will use brown and uh, green and I will use two green yarns on one side and two on the other so a total of four green yarns and two brown yarns so as you can see um, the uh, brown yarns are a bit longer so I added about 15 to 20 centimeters to uh, my uh, yarn yarns and the length of my yarns from this point to this point is about um, 70 centimeters that is about 28 inches long so I will begin with the <coughs> loop so the loop should be from this point to this point so this should be the length of my loop I will grab the ends of my loop and I will start twisting the yarn on the portion that I want to turn into a loop this way and now I will fold in two the portion that I want to turn into a loop and as you can see the two uh, parts of the loop have swirled a one around the other and now I will make a knot at the basis of my loop this way now I will grab the loop with the clamp the yarns with the clamp and I will order the yarns according to their color so I'll put the green yarns on the outside and the brown yarns here in the middle and I will begin by making forward knots with the brown yarns in order to make a forward knot I will create the shape of the number 4 like this I'll put my finger under the yarn the first yarn and I'll take the other yarn out through the loop here and I will make the first forward knot again I will make another forward knot so I'll put my finger under this yarn grab with my nail the other yarn take it out through this loop like this and I have created the first knot so a forward knot here in the middle and now I will make a forward and a backward knot on this side of my yarns so I will make the shape of the number 4 for the forward knot I put my finger under this yarn, grab the other yarn like this, take it out through the loop and I make the first forward knot and then I make a backward knot so uh, the backward knot is the number 4 but in the mirror and I will put my finger under this yarn, grab with my nail the other yarn and take it out through this loop and I have created the backward knot and now on this other side I will make a backward knot so the four in the mirror I will take the yarn through the loop here and make the backward knot and then I will make a forward knot so I create the shape of the number 4 I put my finger under this yarn grab the other yarn like this take it out through the loop and tighten this knot this way so I have three knots I have two green knots on the side and a black knot in the middle here and now I will make with the brown yarn on the green yarn I will make one backward knot the second backward knot and on the second yarn 
again one backward knot and the second backward knot like this so at the moment my brown yarn is on the outside and the green yarns are on the inside and now with this brown yarn I will make one forward knot and the second forward knot on the first green yarn and now my brown yarn has moved forward from here to here and now I will uh, make another pair of forward knots one forward knot and the second forward knot And now the brown yarn has moved from here forward on the outside here. And now as you can see my green yarns are on the inside. Now I will take the green yarns in the middle and I will make two forward knots. So one forward knot and the second forward knot. So two forward knots. Now I will make a backward knot, one backward knot, the second backward knot, on the left side. And on the right side I will make one forward knot and the second forward knot, this way. Now I will take the brown yarn and I will make a forward knot. and a backward knot on this side and I will keep the brown yarn on the outside I will take the other, the right brown yarn and I will make a backward knot and a forward knot this way Now I will make one forward knot and another forward knot and I have created the first chevron so as you can see I have the first chevron here so I have one knot here in the middle and the first chevron. As you can see it looks like a little diamond but this is the chevron that I've created. And now I will create the second chevron. I will create one forward knot, the second forward knot one backward knot and the second backward knot so I have created backward knots on uh, here I have created two forward knots on this other side two backward knots and here in the middle I'll make two forward knots
So I will make one forward knot and the second. This way. And now I will take again the brown yarn and I will make one forward knot and one backward knot on this other side I will make one backward knot and one forward knot And then I will make two forward knots on this cord, one forward knot and the second. Two backward knots, one and the second on this cord on the right. And here in the middle I will make one forward knot and the second forward knot, this way. And now as you can see I have created three chevrons, so one, two and three chevrons. And now I will take the brown yarns and make one forward knot another forward knot so this time I will make two forward knots and I will also, also make two forward knots on the second green yarn so one forward knot and the second forward knot and I brought the brown yarn into the middle here. So I brought it from this place here by making forward knots. And now I will also bring this brown yarn here in the middle by making backward knots. So when I make a backward knot it moves here, when I make a forward knot it moves here on the edge. So it will remain on the edge if I make backward and forward knots on this side. Of if I uh, work on this side it has to be a forward and a backward knot to keep the yarn on the outside as a border. But here um, we want to bring this yarn here in the middle so I'll make so by making backward knots so the number four in the mirror I will bring the yarn back until it gets here. So one backward knot the second backward knot on the first yarn, one backward knot, the second backward knot on the second yarn, like this. And now I brought both brown yarns into the middle and I will make one forward knot and the second forward knot. Like this. And with the green yarns on this side I will make a backward knot and a forward knot and I maintain the green yarns on the outside and here on the other side I make a backward knot and a forward knot
and I also maintain the green yarns on the outside. And now, uh, from now on, as you can see, let's see from a closer distance. And now, as you can see, the um, colors that we are using uh, are creating, so the brown color is creating a contour here. So we have here two borders and here we have a chevron and here we have an inverted chevron up here. And here we have two dots, two green dots. And in the middle we have these one, two, three chevrons. We also have a dot, a little knot here, a dot here. So this is the first part of the uh, boa constrictor um, design. So this is what the boa constrictor looks like on the back. So if you are looking from above, this is what the boa constrictor looks like. This is what the design on the boa constrictor looks like. So this is our first part of the design and from now on I will make the inverted chevron with these yarns following the exact steps that I have described so far and will make more portions such as this one until we uh, until I will reach the desired length of the bracelet and then I will show you how to create a tie and close the bracelet. So let's continue making those shapes following the exact steps that I have shown you so far. And now that I have reached the end of the boa constrictor pattern bracelet, I will create the bracelet tie. I have separated the yarns like this and I will start braiding in order to create the first tie. And after I finish braiding this tie I will make a knot at the end of the tie. And now let's make the knot. And now I will braid the other yarns. And now I will also make a knot here. like this. Now I will cut I will cut the end of the cords like this. And let's see the finished bracelet. So this is what the finished bracelet looks like with the boa constrictor pattern. So it looks like the pattern on the back of a boa constrictor. And now in order to open the loop I will simply open the twisted part here. I will put one of those ties through the loop like this. And here I will make a knot. And this is my boa constrictor pattern bracelet. This is what the finished bracelet looks like. So this is the finished bracelet with the pattern of the boa constrictor back.